Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make dry ice the easiest way. You will need this five pack of 12 gram CO2 cartridges. You can buy at any uh, sporting goods store uh, or even you know, Walmart, Target, probably uh, anywhere that sells uh, air guns. Uh, the CO2 cartridges, the small ones, are the best to do this with. Uh, I haven't had much luck with the larger ones, but I prefer to make it with the small ones. You will need some sort of uh, either a black sock or some sort of uh, heavy duty paper towel. Put the cartridge into some sort of a holder, uh, preferably some sort of vise. Put the sock over the tip of the CO2 cartridge. Place a nail at the end of the cartridge to puncture Take a hammer, don't forget your safety glasses, and puncture the CO2 cartridge forming the dry ice. Now, if I would have punctured it heavier, uh, it would have come out a lot faster, but I just made a small hole. As you can hear, it's still hissing, so it's making the dry ice now. It's also a good idea to wear gloves. Um, I forgot my gloves today. But this dry ice that you're making is 109 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. So you want to make sure not to expose your skin to it. I'm holding on to the sock um, above the dry ice forming level. I must have made a super small hole in the cartridge because it's still forming. Extremely low flying helicopter. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Definitely some dry ice there inside the sock. Look at that. That's a pretty huge chunk of dry ice right there. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's it's steaming because it's so cold. Now if you were to take that and put it in say some warm water it would bubble and smoke like crazy from the steam. So there's, uh, there's a pretty huge chunk of uh, very, very cold dry ice. So just be careful when you're making this. You're really not supposed to puncture these. Uh, it can be a, a danger, a hazard to you. Um, 
So you have to know what you're doing and you have to be very, very cautious when making this in this manner. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Brian Baxter Science. And I'll see you next time.